Hello again, this is Janet Simmons and welcome to week four of our workplace learning course. In this first video of the module, we will look at informal and social workplace learning. We will start with the analysis questions and then we'll look at what is non-formal and informal workplace learning. Next, we'll look at the characteristics of both informal and social workplace learning. And then we'll wrap up with two synthesis questions. There are three analysis questions to help guide and focus you during the readings and for the videos. These questions start by asking you about the deeper nuances of the words informal and formal. The third question asks about the responses to formal, informal, and social learning. The words non-formal and informal to describe workplace learning are not interchangeable. As this table illustrates, non-formal may be controlled by the organization, where the learner controls informal learning. Each had the same purpose, but sometimes non-formal has a set curriculum. What really sets these apart are the types of learning interactions. This is where non-formal mirrors many of the attributes of formal learning. This slide lists many of the characteristics of informal workplace learning. When examining informal learning, we see that there are many of the attributes of formal learning. Looking closer at the characteristics, we find that there are only a few that are similar to formal learning. Informal learning is more learner-centered and there's also differences with the objectives and assessment. This table illustrates the characteristics of social workplace learning. There are some characteristics between informal and social, such as social supplementing training. But there are also a few similarities to formal learning. What sets these apart are the types of learning are the purpose, interaction, and the content. This is increasingly learner focused and learners make the choice of what to learn, how to learn, when to learn, and where to learn. There are two synthesis questions I'd like you to answer for the tutorial. What are the primary functions of social workplace learning? I'd also like you to think about the strategies that create workplace learning. How would you create effective and engaging informal workplace learning programs? Now it's your turn to find out how much you know about formal, informal, and social workplace learning. In our Blackboard site, you'll find an Excel spreadsheet with spaces for you to fill in the various characteristics of each type of learning. The purpose of the self-test is not to see if you can correctly remember all the characteristics, but if you can remember a few of each so that you can easily carry on a conversation about the differences between the three. Have fun, and I'll see you soon.